There is a very special substance created by God that is called amber. The life forms trapped inside amber can last for centuries without going through any decay, which provides us today with the opportunity to examine them with ease. And we come to the realization that life forms have undergone no changes, not even in the micro sense. We are now heading to a place famous for its ambers, Denmark in Northern Europe. The fossil hunter is starting. Denmark is located in Northern Europe, south of the Scandinavian countries. It borders Sweden, Norway, and Germany. It's one of the lushest places on Earth, where bicycles are now one of the most common forms of transportation. In fact, the latest census showed that solely in the capital of Copenhagen, the number of bicycles surpassed cars hitting a staggering number of 265,700. By the way, the total population of Denmark is 5,731,000, and its surface area is 45,000 kilometers square, about half the size of Turkey. The population of the Kingdom of Denmark is little over that of Ankara, the capital city of Turkey. This being the case, the population density decreases significantly outside downtown Copenhagen. Home to a rich, well-designed, and broad architectural cultural heritage, Denmark is very particular about the preservation of its past. Located in Northern Europe, the Baltic Sea has the largest amber reserve on Earth, dating back to the Eocene Epoch. The amber fossils are aged between 44 to 50 million years. We did an interview with Anders L. Damgar, the president of the Danish Amber Association, regarding the richness offered by the sea. Owning a remarkable collection at such a young age, Anders provided us with significant insight on the subject. During our interview with Anders, we noticed a life form that was unique to that epoch. Fifty millions about fifty million years ago, uh, there is, uh, I suppose, that the plant area, and uh, um, it, it's not a sea. There was not sea fifty million years ago. It's a plant area. And it's uh, vanished in the continental drift, something like that. Mm. And all plants are going down, or, or risins or ambers are going down the sea. Mm. And now the waves are brings us, waves brings us the old ambers. Yeah. Not today. Back uh, then, back then, Denmark was not as you see right now. Denmark uh, was not on the surface. Uh, we were underwater. So actually, if you go into the country and dig into the ground, you can also find amber in the ground. A lot of uh, uh, farmers find amber in their, uh, in their fields, in their area, because when they have the huge machine, they're taking off all the amber. So we have amber inside the country as well, here in Denmark. Remember, oh, in Baltic Sea, yeah? the neighbor countries, Denmark, yeah. Norway, Poland, Ukraine, mm. Russia, mm. Lithuania, mm. all countries can gather. And Germany. And Germany. and Germany as well, yeah. Norwegian and Sweden, it's not... Because when you have amber, it's always because of how the, the water flows in between the countries. And Norwegian and Sweden doesn't get as much amber as we do in Denmark. Can you share your observation about the ambers? You see the insect into the amber mm -hmm. and you see the insect Today, you, they are living oh, today. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is your thoughts about, can you compare the living species between today and 50 million yeah. years ago? We always need to compare species when we're working in science. Because you have one species alone, it doesn't tell a lot about the whole ecosystem. The bigger uh, diversity knowledge I have, the, the bigger view I have of the amount of different species, the more important. So, when I have a lot of species from one period of time, I can say from them, oh, what was the temperature, how was the climate? And I need to compare that to living species and also older species. And I have that whole line. I can mm. tell about how it all looks like. 
Since we had the fossil of the life form available, it enabled us to make a comparison. On my left, there is a 50 million year old amber containing a flying ant. It's a species that appears only during this week of the year in Denmark. A flying ant that appears outdoors on this time of the year. On the left, you can see its 50 million year old form and on the right, its present day counterpart. There is no difference between them. This is evidence that proves the total invalidity of the theory of evolution. Masha Allah. Ambers are a type of fossil created in a very special way by God. Also known in paleontology as organic traps. Ambers, like asphalts, are substances consisting of organic molecules. And although they are supposed to decompose in nature, they contrarily do not. Amber is a fascinating substance, just like every organic molecule. It is comprised of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. However, they do not decompose and preserve whatever life form is trapped inside for millions of years, allowing the paleontologists and amber collectors who discover them to display these fossils to the public, giving the humanity the opportunity to make a comparison between the fossilized life forms and its present-day counterparts. This interesting structure of ambers is also seen in asphalt. Asphalt, too, is an organic molecule. Asphalt is thought to be formed by a group of microalgae called diatoms. Asphalt, a petroleum derivative, is the black-colored primary material used in the construction of highways. We can safely say that both amber and asphalt are organic, sticky substances with a hardened gel-like consistency inside. As I have mentioned, ambers are also called organic traps in paleontology. And they stand the effects of decay no matter how many years have passed. Amber is colloquially known as resin. Actually, the resin of a pine tree with the Latin name Pinus succinifera. Ambers are usually formed by the resins released by coniferous trees and can last for millions of years. And they originate from seas. Now, to show you an example on how asphalt and amber, that is, organic traps, can last for millions of years without decay, preserving both themselves and the life forms trapped within. We are going to visit the Silkeborg Museum in Silkeborg, Denmark. The museum is home to an interesting finding. Let's go and investigate it together. Located in northern Denmark, Silkeborg Museum is a place where human face-themed works are on display. Its main theme is humankind from past to present. We are currently at Silkeborg Museum in Silkeborg, Denmark. This is a very exclusive finding on display here, which I will show you now. Now we are at the Silkeborg Museum, in front of the finding named Tolun Men. I wanted to share this fossil finding with you because it's vital for its clear display of how the fossilization mechanism, that is, the preservation of the bodies of life forms, occurs. Tolun Men is a 2,400-year-old human body discovered in the Tolun region of Denmark. It has been very well preserved because the owner of this body lived near a bog, at the bottom of which the body was discovered. It has the most well-preserved face of any fossils found around the world. It's 2,400 years old and serves as a great example in terms of having a better understanding of the mechanisms of fossilization. 
Just like ambers, the asphalt found at the bottom of bogs and other similar environments is capable of preserving life forms and organic tissues for millions of years without any decay. So what is the secret of amber in asphalt, which, unlike common fossils, do not undergo petrification? How can they last for millions of years without any sign of decay? We asked these questions to Oli Nielsen, the manager of Silkeborg Museum. That environment is very difficult for bacteria to live in, so the bacteria cannot eat the, 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 the yeah, body. Yeah. Instead, the collagen and the carotene will be preserved for, for centuries. Right. Collagen and carotene, which is consist of in our yes. skin and hairs, yes. I understand. Yes. 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 Can you say about this environment, it's a similar like fossilization. You know, the organic, for example, asphalt or amber, they are organic material and they keep the uh, living things inside it uh, for million years. Yes. Maybe. The, the, the difference between this and the fossil is that he ha is, has not been changed. It's still the same material. Mm. It's not. It's not changed. Mm. So it's not minerals or so. No, it's still. Iron. It's still organic material. So and the same organic material. So that is the difference. But you can say anyway. He's been kept like nearly like a fossil for mm. for, for for centuries. Well, yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Before we You're leave, yeah. we thank Ord thank and you. the Silk Four Museum for the interview. Aside from having tremendous scientific value, ambers have also been used as ornaments for thousands of years. We're now headed to the Amber Museum, named the House of Amber in Copenhagen. Ambers, a blessing from the sea, have always been an object of attraction and an indispensable ornament for people. A lot of ornaments you can conceive of are made from amber. After being extracted from the sea and classified according to their color and hardness, ambers are given shape by skillful hands and sent to be displayed at stores. House of Amber earned a spot on the Guinness Book of World Records in 2015 for housing the biggest amber fossil on Earth. The amber weighs a little over 80 kilograms and was determined to be 15 to 20 million years old. We thank House of Amber for their hospitality. Ambers are unique fossil formations that actually offer an absolute proof for God's creation, because although their interior dense gel-like structure is comprised of organic substances, they can still last for millions of years due to their ability to prevent bacteria reproduction. When life forms trapped within amber are compared with their present day counterparts, one can clearly see there is not even a single difference between them. Wings, eyes, hairs, body parts, husks, and myriad other details examined under a microscope show us how utterly erroneous the theory of evolution is. God's gift to the world of paleontology, ambers are a clear calling for the humankind, proving us that creation is a scientific fact by showing down to the smallest detail how the life forms preserved within them did not undergo any change whatsoever. See you on the next episode of Fossil Hunter.